Hello everyone, hope all is well and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna get my niece Molly to pick out all of the products I'm going to be using today. Just as a little disclaimer, all of the clips of Molly were filmed over a month ago before this pandemic happened and came across Canada. I was just holding off on filming this video for a while just so I could have her in the end of the video, but it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. So I just wanted to make this video before Molly grows another foot. She's growing so, so fast. But I think today's video is gonna be really fun, really lighthearted and super cute. And I'm so excited to look back on this video in the future. And it's a super exciting video because Molly's gonna be the first official guest on my channel other than the vlogs, which is gonna be so cute. So before we look back at the clips of Molly, I would love for you to subscribe if you aren't already. It would mean so much to me and let's get to it. Okay, Molly, ready? I'm gonna pick primer. So we got two in there, Milani Soft Focus Glow, oh. and the Hello Fab. This one? Oh. Nope, not interested. Yeah. Oh. That one? Oh. Okay, sounds good. Now for foundation, we got the Pat McGrath CoverGirl Skin Milk or the Makeup Forever Reboot. Oh. Huh? That one? That one? You want the reboot? Sounds good! <laughs> now for concealer, I have the Milk Flex Concealer, Ilya Serum, or the Kaja Beauty Don't Settle. Which one's gonna be? That one? Yeah? Ilya. <laughs> now for bronzer, I have the Fenty Beauty in the Sun or the Lila B bronzer. This one or that one? You like that one, I think. That one's my favorite too. Look. Oh, wow. Fun, right? Blush time. Excited? Boop. What do we have in there? MAC Glow Play, Dior Blush, or M Cosmetics? That one? Good. That's the one I wanted too. Oh. Okay for palette. <laughs> this one. That one? Ta-ta. Okay. That Ta -ta. one? Ta-ta-cha. Okay, Thank you. <laughs> Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I feel like she's got expensive taste, this one. <laughs> <laughs> Time for mascara. Okay, Ilya or milk? Milk. milk. <laughs> Time for lipstick. Whoop. Okay, so I have M Cosmetics Faded Clementine, a Huda Beauty, and a Melt Cosmetics lip Liquid Lipstick. It'd be awesome if you picked this one, just saying. <laughs> oh. Yes. That one? No! <laughs> Sparkle gloss. Okay, so we have a Nabla mm. gloss or Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath right away wins. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. You're my first feature on my channel. Mm. First guest. Mm. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> I love you. So looking at all of the products laid out in front of me, she's got a very bougie taste. She's a very bougie baby, I guess. Natasha Denona, Dior, Lila B, M Cosmetics, Pat McGrath. My goodness, and I had a bunch of different price ranges in that little box, so this is hilarious. So for my primer, she picked out the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer from Hello Fab. So this one's one of my favorites, so I'm happy about that. Just gonna take about that much and apply that. I did put a little bit of a tan on last night, and I didn't really think this through. Hopefully I match the foundation, but the foundation she picked out was the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Honestly, still trying this out. I'm not a super fan of this. It feels like it sits on top of my skin in a weird way, but hopefully I'll get a better sense of it today. I haven't used it in a while. I'm using the shade Y244. 
I'm just going to be applying this with the Royal Lingnickel Complexion Brush. I'm gonna try to just use a minimal amount of this just to see how that goes. It smells kind of funky. It actually turned out to be a, quite a good match for my skin tone right now. So that's nice. I was a little bit worried about that. And then once that's applied, I'm just gonna take my sponge. This one's by ColourPop. And I'm just gonna dab over everything. I do this all the time just to make it more like a skin-like finish. It removes any brush strokes left behind from the brush and adds a little bit more hydration and glow. It's just awesome. So now for my concealer, she picked out the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer and I'm gonna mix two shades. I'm first gonna go in with the deeper shade. I'm gonna see how that one goes first and if I have to have, if I want a little bit more brightness, I'll add the lighter shade. Yeah, I'm just gonna add a touch of this shade, which is Chigri. I didn't get her to pick out any powders. I think I forgot. So I'm just gonna go in with my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in the shade Light with the brush that comes with this. My code is still available for the concealer system, by the way. Um, it's good until April 30th if you want to get 10% off. I'm just setting under the eyes today just to stop any creasing from happening, but this is the only area I'm going to be setting today. So now for my bronzer, I'm gonna be going in with the Lila B Be Sun Kissed bronzer. I'm so happy she chose this. It's my favorite powder bronzer, it's so nice. I'm gonna be blending this out with the Airbrush Precision Foundation brush from Sephora that sadly has been discontinued. And I'm gonna do a little bit of the wave technique. So I'm just gonna bring my bronzer across the bridge of my nose and with whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna be stippling it on right here and a little bit under the eyes just so that it doesn't look so mask-like. You just wanna kind of stipple it and just bring a slight amount of product up there, not too, too much. Oh, I should have highlighted first. I forgot that she chose the Dior one. When I worked out of my bedroom at my parents' house, every time Molly would come over, she would run up to my drawers, open them up, and pick out the two Dior bottles like this, the highlighter as well as the face and body foundation. She loves these bottles for some reason and she'll hold them all day. It is so freaking cute, so I'm not surprised that she chose this highlighter. And I'm happy she did because it's my favorite liquid highlighter. So I just take a tiny bit of that. You don't need a lot with this. It can build up to be quite intense, but I like to move a little dollop around, take my ring finger, kind of apply it like that and take my middle finger to blend it out so I don't add too much and it adds a feathered effect around the outskirts. And with my highlight on my nose here, I'm just gonna go over with my bronzer brush just so that the bronzer is a little bit on top of the highlighter. I should have highlighted first, that was my bad. But when you put your bronzer a touch on top of your highlighter, it makes it look like that glow is coming from within rather than just sitting on top. Um, so that's a good trick if you want more of a natural effect. But now let's move on to blush, which this is gonna start getting a little tricky here. She picked out the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Faded Clementine blush, which is a very orange blush in the rest of the products. I don't know how this is gonna mesh well, but you know, it'd be fun to see what happens. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics number three brush, and I'm just gonna dip into here. This is one of my favorite blushes of all time. It's so nice. And I'm just gonna apply it to the apples of my cheeks first, kind of feathering it out 
towards the cheekbone back over here and on top of the highlighter. This does have a little bit of glow in there so it's gonna add to that highlighter as well as just cover it a little bit just to make them all um, blend in together seamlessly. And I'm also going to apply a little touch of that on the nose as well. And once I'm confident that there's not much product left on the brush, I'll just dust whatever's left on the chin just to keep it all cohesive. So now I'm just gonna go quickly do my brows off camera. So I will be right back. Okay, the brows are on, so it's time to move on to the eyes. And I already put some concealer as my eye primer and she picked out the Natasha Denona Gold Palette, which is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and was actually one of my first purchases from Natasha Denona. I was very amazed by the color story. Um, I use this palette still very often. These are some of my favorite browns to use on an everyday basis, but it also has some really fun shades in here that are quite unique. I really want to use this shade on my middle finger here today. Maybe I'll go into this cream formula as well. It's more of like a teal turquoise blue. I think this will be a fun look. I want to get a little creative, so we'll see how it turns out. So I think I have an idea of what I want to do, so let's just try it out. Here's kind of the color palette I want to go in with. For sure this, for sure this, and I think the mustard yellow. Uh, so I think I'm going to first use that mustard yellow as my transition shade. And now I'm going to be dipping into this one right here to kind of define the outer portion a little bit. And this is a Smith 230 brush, by the way. And I'm also going to mix in some of the mustard too just so that we get like a deeper shade of that mustard. And then with my finger, I'm gonna go in with this really fun shade right here. I'm just gonna bring that on the lid, it's so pretty. It's a duochrome, so it's very green when the light hits it, but it has kind of like a pink shift when the light isn't directly hitting it, it's really pretty. I'm just gonna blend the edges away with this brush. And that's the base of the look. So now I'm gonna add kind of like an, a liner with this shade. I believe it's called Python. I ripped off that annoying plastic thing, so I don't know what shade is which. So I'm gonna be using this shade right here, which is a cream powder formula. So you can use it as like an eyeliner if you would like, or an eyeshadow, very great. So I'm gonna just start off from right here and flick it upwards. And I think I'm gonna do more of a structured one. And I'm also going to take an eyeliner pencil. I swatched two and the shade from Urban Decay Overdrive matches best with the cream powder formula. So I'm going to line my lower lash line with this. And it does have shimmer in it so it's gonna bring some more dimension to the eye look. And I'm just gonna work that in the lashes as well just so that we don't have any blank spots. I'm gonna clean up this eye look because I kind of made a mistake with the shape of the liner. So I'm just gonna, you've seen me do this lots and lots, so I'm just gonna take my concealer and a flat brush. This is an Anastasia 20. And I just am gonna reshape this right here because this is not looking cute. This brush I'm using right now just to get those details is a Melt 96 brush. It's really great for little details like this. And I kind of like the way that that shadow looks on top of the teal, so I'm gonna just kind of scatter some of that on top of the liner. I feel like that looks really neat. I'm just gonna fix that one little spot there that's kind of bald right here with this weird brush, my Tweezerman line glider, which is the weirdest brush on earth, it's real. And I'm just going to touch up the crease color, and then I 
think that's the look. I really love how this turned out. I've been really into the liner all the way around the eye. I feel like it looks so nice. And for my inner corner highlight, I almost forgot, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And then I might layer a little bit of that shade we used on the lid. Let's see how that turns out. I might actually use a brush for more precision because I just messed up. I just dampened my brush just so that the product sticks on there a little bit nicer and it becomes a little bit more intense. That's better. And then I'm gonna add the other shade, try to like kind of blend them right here. I feel like, yeah, that looks awesome. I love that so, so much. So I'm just gonna go quickly catch this eye up to speed and I will be right back. So here's what the eyes look like with just eyeshadow. I am such a fan of this look. So now I'm just going to put on some mascara and she picked the Milk makeup one, which is such a good one. Used to be such a fave. I haven't used it in a while. And here are the eyes all complete. I am so in love with this eye look. It's probably one of my favorites of this month. I love it to bits. So now let's move on to the lips. Everything looks amazing right now, but I'm kind of fearful about this lip combo. Uh, she picked out this Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Board Meeting, which is like a 90s brown. So I don't know how that's gonna go. And she also picked out this gloss from Pat McGrath. It is a very pink and sparkly and intense. So we'll see about that. I'm just putting on a little bit of lip balm. This is the lip conditioner from Cotony. Um, and I'm gonna go into this lipstick from Huda Beauty. Again, in the shade Board Meeting. Um, nervous. Like this one won't be bad, it's the gloss on top that's gonna be weird. Like it's not the worst nude lipstick to go with this lip look, but it has kind of like a mauve finish to it, so it kind of clashes with the orange blush and the tones in the eyes. Now let's add this very glittery lip gloss. Um, I'm not a super fan of this texture from her. Yeah, that's horrendous. <laughs> that is not good. I'm not a fan of glittery lipsticks or lip glosses in general, so this whole collection from Pat McGrath is not something I'd recommend. Plus they feel like not the smoothest and they're not the glossiest thing. I really enjoy her normal gloss formula 10 million times more. This one doesn't really have a glossy finish, it's mostly just glitter. And green. Here is the final look. I love this entire look except for the lips. I think I might switch over after I finish filming this video to something a little bit more wearable with this look, but the eyes and the complexion looks amazing. I'm still not a fan of this foundation. I feel like it looks like it's sitting on top of my skin, which is really sad because I was super looking forward to this one since it says that it brightens, smooths, firms, hydrates, evens out illuminates all of the things. I look really matte and I haven't set the foundation. So sadly, this foundation for me is a miss, but everything else I absolutely adore and I use so, so much on my channel and recommend to bits. But these two products, the Pat McGrath Gloss and the Reboot Foundation, are a nose for me. This video was super fun. I am shocked with the results. I didn't think that everything would look so nice together. I really hope Molly likes this look. I'll probably have to show her this video to show her the final results, but I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful and fun. If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. I'll make sure to link all the products I used in today's video in the description down below as always, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you, bye.